absolutely has an invitation. Well, let's go back to some of the other questions that we have here. Um, so would you like to provide any background information about yourself? Something, any details, um, you know, where you grew up, your interests, um, anything like that? Sure. I'm a, uh, I have, I'm a television, uh, big event television producer, director, live television producer, director. Uh, got my education at San Francisco State, which is a wonderful television facility school. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have, for the past 50 years, done everything from run camera on the first one of the Indy 500 uh, to doing worldwide global specials out of Gostola Radio uh, in Moscow. Uh, I've been to Moscow three times. I've done two television programs out of Moscow. Uh, the last one was in 1991. It was on global warming, believe it or not. Wow. In conjunction with ahead the of your time mm -hmm. it was in conjunction with the soviet union working together i did the program out of their television facilities in moscow i had to speak russian as i was making my call because the crew didn't speak english uh, i negotiated a feed from the mir space station so we could interview their cosmonauts to talk about the depletion of the rainforest over brazil and the, and the smog over Mexico City. So we actually interviewed cosmonauts in the middle of our program out of Moscow. So when mm -hmm. I see things happening in Moscow today and I, 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 I watch what happened, it's, it's such a tragedy. I can't believe it. The Russian people are the nicest people. They are the gracious, most gracious people. And so the, the, this government thing is really bad. And uh, yeah. I, I feel for the people. They're just, they're, they're already, they're already under by their government. Um, right, right. So, right. so I've, done for years, I've done my 20 years, I directed all of the Apple shows for Steve Jobs. When Steve Jobs was there, from the time he came back and through his memorial ceremony, when there was a major announcement, I was the director. Uh, wow. And Steve, Steve changed the way we do television. When we do big event television, we rehearse. Everybody rehearses, rehearse, bring, where are they coming from? Are they, is the audience lit? Do we do this? Everything has to be, every detail has to be paid attention to. Mm -hmm. He changed all that. He said, I don't want to see any of these lights. I don't want to have them. I don't want to want to wear, I don't want to wear a microphone. Uh, I'm going to do my, I'm going to rehearse my show. And so we had to light it and get everything set up and then turn everything off. Wow. And then he would rehearse and he wouldn't wear a microphone early on. So I had to have the audio people put these little microphones at the stage so that I could hear something because we had to hear words to know what the heck we were doing the next day. <laughs> uh, so, and he only gave us one rehearsal with camera people. So he trusted me for 20 years to do up to 13, 14 cameras with live music to present Apple's image live for 13 million people with one rehearsal after they did all their work all that time to get that product ready he gave me one rehearsal so he trusted oh my goodness. He, he trusted me I, and i appreciate it and i honor it and so on my way to one of the, those jobs I had this very nice leather jacket and the zipper broke on it the, the extension of the zipper broke and I was off, I was going to an Apple show and I thought, I oh, gosh, they have this little nubby thing here in my jacket and I'm going to work. And so I thought I need to put something in. Well work. And I thought, oh, a paper clip. So I grabbed a paper clip and I put it in that little sock, that little thing. And sure enough, it worked by pulling the zipper up and down. Right. And I thought, okay, it works. And as I was doing it, I thought, wait a minute. Have I ever seen anything on a zipper before? And I thought, no, I went through my head. I thought, no, I hadn't because we didn't have, we only have one zipper, right? We, we, people only have one Exactly. They exactly. Two, one in their jacket, one in their pants. And it was like, but now we have backpacks with nine zippers on them that walk around. Full. They just don't have anything on them. Right, right. They're wearing baseball hats and A's jackets and Chicago gear. 
they if they had something like like if they could put something in their backpack, they they buy a bunch of them, one for each of their fan, one of their each of their sports. So um, I went to a friend of mine, Johnny Main, who's on the director, and I said, Hey Johnny, I've got this idea. Can you do some drawings? And he did some drawings. And then I talked to my attorney and I said, Hey, do you know anybody who's a patent attorney? And this led us to they led me to JD. Uh, and I sent the drawings off to JD and he, I guess Matt was the person who actually wrote the uh, wrote the patent and then, uh, searched it and did all the research for it. Of course, as I mentioned, the details that they went through were were, were efficient, which is important. Uh, they were efficient. Uh, there wasn't a lot of time spent getting information. So uh, very quickly things moved along, and then once the search was done, we. Said okay, we're gonna go. Matt asked me a lot of questions about about the pro, you know, what we're doing, and he was very very succinct in where the patent was, and, and you know, he knew enough to know where a patent could be written with it because right, right, and, which was really critical to know that hey, that is patentable. Uh, right, was really important. So that knowledge is what gave me the confidence to do it, and then. And then we did it, um, uh, and, and and then the pandemic hit, and it just stopped everything. Uh, and I'm in the big event business uh, for a living today, so I direct shows in big events, and all big events got shut down. So that so that shut down the money stream and everything else. Uh, and, and mostly a way to get word out because people are so concerned about their lives. Yeah, uh, so, COVID changed everything. Yeah, where, where we are today, and um we have very enthusiastic uh we, we have, we're actually talking to a brand new uh high school elite basketball league uh that's about to start it's going to start in november okay it's going to go to march these are 12 elite a conference of 12 elite high school basketball team from across the country six on the east conference six on the western conference okay the group is called the grind session and last year they had 35 teams 28 boys teams and seven girls teams they've now consolidated that to 12 to a super conference of teams they're looking for television broadcast rights uh i mean it, it, it's a they're gonna have their their national championships in mid-march right uh, these players are spectacular they're like the greatest players from all the countries around the world from nigeria from germany uh switzerland they all come to the united states to play in these academies to get to division one schools or to professional contracts and so these this these this new conference allows those those that capability ability a player to play against their peers instead of being the dominant player in their in their region for instance and so these 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 conference this conference has been formed and zip jewel is going to be our zip jewels are going to be the official name image and likeness uh medals for this new conference oh my goodness congratulations phil that's very special i mean it just sounds like one achievement after the other in terms of getting your brand out there getting information out there that's fantastic well it's you know what it really is is you have to you have to be ready for every little opening that Opportunity. You, you're mm -hmm. trying for because if you don't you're going to miss things i found these i found this conference because i was reading the san francisco chronicle that we i read our local newspapers to get information about what's going on to see where we can, we can apply right they talked about this special tournament that was happening at a junior college it was only in an article that was this big if mm -hmm. i had read that article i would not have known that they existed because i read that article i went there and i met the chief operating officer of the grand session I showed him what we had. He said, "This is going to blow up. I want to. I need to be part of this." And that was that was like seven months ago, and we just had a meeting on uh, 
uh, what's today? Today is Monday. On Friday or Tuesday, mm -hmm. we, had, we had a meeting on Friday solidifying the letter of intent, what we're going to be doing with them, uh, how we're going to work together. And so I've now written that letter, and the next steps are to make an, to get an agreement put together so we can start creating Zip Tool medals for their teams, for their players, and for their league, and for their league championships. And then we're taking that technology and we're moving it into other areas, into necklaces, but also into cards and and uh, and jackets because they're these our our logos are really super on mm -hmm. on Letterman jackets. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're going to make championship jackets. We're going to design pack a de championship jackets for them. Wow. Uh, uh, we have a great design team. Our, uh, who I also found our design team. I have two designers. Oh, Ashley Brown is uh, our, I would say our designer. Uh, mm -hmm. She, I met her because I, Zip Tool has a purpose. The purpose for Zip Tool is to help young people do things together and succeed together. When you have a Zip Tool, it symbolizes honor and respect when you have one it's a tangible reminder to make a difference in yourself and your family and your community every day mm -hmm. so so when you're so this uh, this high school group particularly are high school kids who can start having their name image and likeness on medals right. now they can they can sell them get a fan base, get a following, and help provide for their family at a very, at an age of 16 now and 17. So, so nice. this league is of for the is of those of that age, 16, 17 mm -hmm. high school. So right. the league believes in what Zip Jewel represents. The league is there for the same reason. They're a nonprofit. So they're there. We're I said to them, there's a new movie out right now called uh, Air. Oh yes, about Michael Jordan, right? Yes, and so the story of Air is really about a small new sports company and a star athlete. Well, Zip Jewel is a new small sports company, and the Grind Sessions has a bunch of potential Michael Jordans. <laughs> and the difference is that we have a purpose the grind session and zip jewel have a common purpose we're here for the youth zip jewel is going to fix playgrounds with our profits that's and amazing we're, and we're yeah. going to connect those athletes those young athletes back to their communities so they're always connected and they're not leaving and going off and not having any contact so right. Right. Is here to connect communities group by group and it's amazing and I commend you because you you are running a business and your business is also really contributing in so many social aspects in a way that um, you know you would hope to see. Well, okay, so let's go to another question. So you were in California, like you said you, you were in television in a very um, you know successful uh, producer and you developed so many um, different uh, not sh well, shows and informational um, presentations. So uh, let's see, now that you are also an inventor, uh, you are the inventor of ZipDuel and an entrepreneur, what are some of the most important, or what are the, some challenges that you think face inventors and entrepreneurs? Well, new technology is hard. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know, I thought new technology was easy because I thought new technology was needed. And so since it's needed, oh, it it's there, well then people will want it. Well, if they don't know what it is, they're afraid of it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know what it is. And so yeah. that that was a shock to me, to be honest with you. It, it, it hit me like I, I couldn't believe. It was like, wait a minute, this is, this is really cool. Look at it. Look at it. Hold it. Isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Well, uh, do, do, well, do you want some? Uh, 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 you know, uh, 
And so if there's a there's there's a an education that needs to come with it. There's a constant message that has to be with it. Uh, you know, we have a meaning. That's the number one food output tool. So when you buy one or have one, you, you you're buying it because you care for that person or that team enough that you're going to wear a symbol that's also going to be a reminder to you. Mm -hmm. It make a difference. Absolutely. Uh, and so with that though, that <clears throat> which is very nice, people aren't used to it. And it used to making a difference even hearing that it's going to make a difference when i say we're going to fix playground that's that almost throws people now it doesn't because we're more there's more companies that are being more more uh, uh conscious about those things but as we were starting six years ago people weren't giving back and they weren't doing these things and i was talking about these very sort of futuristic thoughts about what a company could be and do and here's what we can do and we can connect and and it wasn't you know timing is a lot of a big deal and yeah. uh jump to timing because it's these things that go along timing is you you have to be ready when the timing is there and you have to you have, to have a vision you can't be uh you 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 can't not know where you're going <laughs> number one you really have to know where you're going and uh it, it, so that's number one and then when you do know where you're going you have to be people want to take you other places they want to say oh it should be bigger oh you have this it can do that or oh it's that or whatever it is and you have to just not uh you have to understand they focus yeah they know they're standing still and you're moving forward so when right you, when you listen to people who are standing still you can't really listen to them you can right. you can listen but you don't take what they say as meaning because they're not moving they're standing. right and if they're moving they could actually see things moving with you Right. They walking next to you and go, oh, we're moving. But when they're just standing there and they just have a thought, it's like, well, I think it's like, okay, well, thank you very much for your thought. Uh, I'm gonna keep going in my focused direction. Yes. <laughs> you know, if I look backwards or sideways, I cannot see forward. Right, right. So, so you talked about technology being challenging and and hard, trying to stay focused, not getting pulled in the wrong direction. Um, what about the patent and trademark? process is it important that you learn as an inventor as an entrepreneur about the patent and trademark process did you feel like you learned a lot as you went along well I, I here's the thing i believe in the process and i believe in the patent whole idea at the same time getting going is really important when you get something and you got to get going get going i, mean, I would have to say my thing is, I've been doing it now for a, a long time. And the patent has helped me, by the way, every step of the way. I'm, if, if I didn't know about the patent, and I, I thought, what am I really trying to say? Because I'm saying the patent's important, it really helped me at the same time. If I if I didn't have the patent and I had the funds, would I have just gone ahead if, with the thought? And mm -hmm. yeah, because if you, then if you meet somebody, hell, they may have the same thing you can share. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to own something to own it, you know, and so that's part of what I would say is, you know, if, if the patent is very important. I think if you have something that's patentable, you should patent. And and, and, if, and if you're going to patent it, you should patent it with people who who are in the moment. Like they're not past their time. And I guess that's another thing about that I really love about Bold is the, and I won't say age because I don't think it's the age, but it's the, it's the age of thinking is mm -hmm. young. And it's mm -hmm. really young, and so right. uh, that's very important because that enthusiasm and that knowledge is what carried me uh, forward in in encouraging me to to continue on. Uh, now we're where yeah. we are. I'd say, you know, every single part of it has been it, it wonderfully valued. I love to hear that. That's absolutely wonderful. And I think that you're right. Also, especially JD, our managing partner, he. Um, he uh, is very youthful and forward thinking when it comes to, you know, people's ability to get things done and to, um, you know, to make things happen. Um, and, and it's funny because we have several, we mentioned Steve Jobs, we frequently see quotes about Steve Jobs and that's kind of embodied who he was, very daring, very bold. So I think you do seem to be on the same, you know, path in terms of your mindset. 
Um, so you're currently selling your product, and so I want to give you a chance to sort of if, um, tell more people about that. So where are you selling? How can people obtain it? Do you license your patent to other people uh, at the time? Uh, at this time or not yet have you thought about licensing your patent uh, um, okay so one uh starting at the uh at the beginning of that is we're beginning our sales now um it's been an education process the, the pandemic really you know we don't have well, we don't have the funding you know we're a tiny 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 little startup we, we, right I mean, my my day job has been has been keeping zip jewel alive and my day job stopped three years ago so uh, so we have not been able to get out the way we would we have wanted at the same time timing is a big deal as i said and the timing with this with the grind session is a huge uh, opportunity for us uh, and for them uh we're looking for national television coverage uh for their games uh so uh, and they're counting on us to to, to bring what we bring both with zip Jewel and, and created creatively in general uh, mm -hmm. of, of what what we bring and so we're feeling good about uh right now we're looking to get that contact and start building the staff uh that's where we are we're in the fund rate we right now we're ready to build the staff to start getting out the top people that we know we can we can sell cards through all the way through zip tools with people. So, uh, and the cards were such a great entry into what we're doing as a utility, because as I mentioned, the zip tools are really a utility now as much as they are a keepsake. Mm -hmm. And so you can have that utility on your backpack and you can start doing it instead of reaching in your wallet and taking out a card. And you can also show your colors. We're feeling that the giants are gonna be a great inroad for that uh with that 415 club uh entree that we have so we have the giants that we're currently talking with and we have grind session that we're actively talking with for sales so uh that's where we are with our sales right now which is two very good opportunities and uh and i'm actually writing up the staff that we're going to need because it's going to take the whole staff to to uh manage and operate this grind session that's a that's a that's the, that's the nba basically it's you know yeah. it's Yes, that's what we're getting. We're getting a young MBA. That's what I mentioned about grind session and zip jewel. We're the Nike. We're the new young sports company, and grind session is the Michael Jordan as, exactly. a, as a whole. So they're excited about what we're bringing. We're excited about being on every backpack that we could possibly be on. We're looking for every young person to have it. We're also doing. We're just now today. We're doing. Uh, we're doing baseball cards. Uh, for minor league baseball, uh, former, so that we can bring it into, the, we can introduce it into the basketball cards. We'll have cards for basketball players uh, that will have access to their highlights. They won't just have to be wearing a zip jewel medal. They can have their zip jewel card that's less expensive, and then more people, more young people can have them. Uh, and then when you want to get, when you want to have something more, and say, hey, I need to get that, I need to get that medal now. Uh, right, right. So it's a great, exciting way for us to get for everybody to market it. For the Giants, they see it with their four one five club. You know, they have I don't know how many thousand people they have in their club. Well, right, that's, right. That's a couple. That's a few thousand cards. Well, if they start becoming the giveaways that they will have the power to be, if you can play games in the middle of a game with a card. Now you don't even have to have a medal necessarily. You just you get a card that's a giveaway for them. That they, you know, they give away dot bobblehead dolls. They, have, they give away things. So we know their price point. Their price point is four dollars, basically. Mm -hmm. Four fifty. Mm -hmm. Four fifty is a lot for them. Uh, and so people are at the upper end of that. Uh, and so they were a little, and because it's new technology, they're a little hesitant. The cards are just pretty much, hey, take a look at this, and this is what it'll cost you. You know. Right. Exactly. I think there's so much opportunity there. So. So how about also if you want to talk a little bit about, you know, um, your website, you know, how do people order if they want to order from your website? Yes. Well, it's at zipjewel.com. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and it's a, it's our store there. So you can you can you can search through the store. The cards are not on the store. The cards are brand new. I just invented them uh, literally uh, last week. I started to think, you know, these. Uh, well, we we've, we've been working on it. I'm not literally. I've been working on it for about six months on how to create these portals that would give. Because uh, we 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 have. We first put a QR code on a zip jewel uh, to see if it would work because they told me it wouldn't work, but I, I knew it would work. So we put it on a zip jewel, we tested it, it worked. Then I knew that if it'll go to one, then there's got to be a way for us to make a network out of it. So now we can create your own personal network, everybody. Mm -hmm their own personal network. My business is television. So I always look at things from broadcasting, education, training, uh, communication, and how we do it better. Well, this was the gift of a lifetime. The, the, my, when I when I pulled the zip tool and I held it in my hand and I felt how great it felt. I knew, you know what, this is gonna be, a, this is gonna be a key someday. And, it's, uh, and, and then technology came with quick response codes. And there was the beginning of the key. And then I said, you know, this is a key to a portal. We can put more than just one QR code on this. There's gotta be a way we can put multiple QR codes on one thing. So now we created our portal where you can now go to, you know, any of these sites. And if you, if you click on the giant 415 club, you go to walk up music. You can buy, yes. you can buy stuff on the scoreboard. You can go shop in their store. You can do anything you want. It's all customizable. So, so we're on the cusp of this this networking connecting thing that uh, that I've, I've and I'm ready for it because in 2001 I formed the company called uh, Global 360. Okay. It was a it's a video database company. Mm -hmm. It was because. I saw video on a computer and said, hey, wait a minute. We we can, they have all these broadcast rights and everything. I can make, I can help the producer become the network. And I can do it on this box. Yes. This box that's, that's right in front of me. So I formed a company, Global 360, to be to be a video database company and i planned on having three minute movies well that's now youtube <laughs> right <laughs> and and, 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 I, and back in the day when we first started getting in car navigation systems i thought wait a minute one of these days people are going to want to go down a street without ever having gone down that street right so i got three cameras and had a custom rig made and I put it on the top of my uh, truck and I drove the streets of Petaluma, California and I came back and I meshed them together and I shot and I drove, you could see the left side, the center or the right hand side, which is now Google Earth. I I was. Afraid. I had computers which stopped and started the cameras. We had it tied to the GPS system. And so you've always I, been very inventive. Would you say that you've always been very inventive? Yes, it's turned out that way. I started a newspaper called the Sausalito Sin in the sixth grade with my buddy Peter Walker. And then we didn't have a yearbook in the eighth grade at Richardson Bay School. So I did the yearbook with Peter Lawfer and some other friends. Yeah. And then I went to San Rafael High School and they didn't have a student store. Yeah. So I, Started the student store, uh, so these things have happened. I guess that's I guess so because now that, the, the video thing was really important because I'm in video and I believe that that's a new format that we should be watching, not necessarily 360, just one 220. What we need. Right. So right, I, right. I have a monitor. I have a screen over here that's custom. That see that screen is. Yes. That's the only screen on earth that's shaped like that. And that's how that's how I play the videos. I took them to Tahoe and shot waterfall. So it's just like you're sitting next to the waterfall. I've got hours and hours of that footage that you will be seeing one of these days because it's still here. The rig is still in my closet. We just haven't been able to build that business. 
because we were trying to build this business to get money to build that. <laughs> That's but your it, next one. So you, you see a fun. need and you go for it, you try to solve it, you try to provide a problem for it, which is definitely you know, the definition of an, of an inventor. And I commend you on it. I think I will have to wrap up, Phil, only because of the next sort of appointment. But it, I um, wanted to kind of end with a couple of things. One, would you be okay if we wanted to share? I know you provided previously a picture of yourself with the plaque and the patent. Can we share that with this testimonial on the website? Yes, you may. Okay. Um, any thoughts you'd like to share about Bold and our team? Would you refer our law firm to other friends or family who are or people who are interested in pursuing a patent or a trademark? Oh, I would recommend Bold at the highest level, at every level, from from knowledge to uh, to personal connection to uh, do thoroughness. Um, yeah, human touch is a big deal, and 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 youthful thinking is a big deal, and Bold has all. Fantastic. I'm so, so glad to hear that, Phil. I, uh, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, Philly, and I just wish you all of the success moving forward with Jewel and the causes that you, you are trying to support with it. And anything we can do to help or assist in that process, we'd be happy to do. Um, and just to, you know, to, to see sort of your enthusiasm, and to know that you know people are driven not just by necessarily profit or fame but to really give back um you know and have a business is really nice to see wow thank you really nice meeting you thank you very very very